A man who ended up in a coma is coming face to face tonight with the THP trooper who hit him in a drunk driving crash. That crash happened in the early morning hours of June 30th, 2022, and it has taken this long for the victim to have his day and his say in court. Our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley, he is back with another story. Uh, Jeremy, you are going to tell us here what the court, uh, what came out of this day in court. This is what I went through. Stephen Lambert has waited to enter court many times before, just never like this. It's a big mental setback. The walker is the latest insult from injury, an injury that put him in a coma for 10 days and left him in constant pain after off-duty state trooper Stephen Lee Brown smashed into him, admitting he drank beer and whiskey the night before the crash. Lambert learned to walk again, but recent complications now means he needs assistance to move. Still, he entered court this afternoon to come face to face with Brown, who just got out of jail himself, sentenced to 90 days as part of a plea deal released early for good behavior. Yeah, he's out of jail. He's on probation. Brown is here to listen to Lambert's victim impact statement. Before court, Lambert read for us how he'll detail his injuries. 18 broken ribs, five fractured vertebrae, liver lacerations and how the crash devastated his family. I know they see it on my face and the change in the way I walk, but I will not stop the plans we have set out to enjoy until I can no longer stand the pain. Well, this hearing was scheduled to begin at two o'clock this afternoon, but it is still underway. Lambert is also asking for restitution. We're waiting to see if the judge awards him any. Once we get that information, we will be sure to pass it along. Lauren. Okay, Jeremy, thank you.